A major university quarantines over 100 students and staff. Hey everyone, I'm Lena Saunier and this is your Daily Pitch. Amid measles fears, UCLA quarantined 127 students and staff members. The Los Angeles County Department of Public Health said that people quarantined at the California University were exposed to measles and couldn't provide evidence of immunization against the disease. The U.S. is battling its highest number of measles cases since it declared the elimination of the virus back in 2000. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has confirmed 695 cases of measles. It's unclear how much social media has played a part in spreading misinformation, but the networks are fighting back. Facebook is already trying to limit the spread of anti-vaccine hoaxes by not showing pages or groups featuring anti-vaccine content. Instagram has blocked anti-vaccine hashtags and YouTube no longer allows users to monetize anti-vax videos with ads. Measles is a highly contagious virus that starts out as a fever, runny nose, cough, red eyes, or sore throat, followed by a rash that spreads all over the body. The disease spreads through the air by respiratory droplets produced from the coughing or sneezing. Today, children get two doses of measles, mumps, and rubella, or MMR, vaccine starting at age one. But in the 1980s, people in the U.S. were only given one shot. Following a series of outbreaks in 1989, public health experts endorsed a two-shot MMR schedule. The MMR vaccine isn't perfectly effective against measles. The two-shot method is 97% effective, while the one-shot method is only 93% effective. That doesn't necessarily mean people born before 1989 should immediately rush out to get vaccinated with MMR again, but the CDC does recommend those vaccinated between 1963 and 1967 get a shot of the current MMR vaccine, since the older version wasn't very effective. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you again soon for your next Daily Pitch.